Hi, Sunshine. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And, and together, together we, we are Mac Curls. And welcome to another Mac Curls video. Another Mac Curls wheelbarrow video. <laughs> <laughs> We're wheeling out our products. Um, I feel like this one is kind of like a wheelbarrow video, but it's like a needed wheelbarrow video mm -hmm. because... Um, you, as you would have seen by the title right now, we're talking deep conditioners. Yeah. In this winter, we started Treatment Tuesdays on this channel where every mm -hmm. Tuesday we came with treatments, mm -hmm. deep conditioners, and we've done a lot. There's 21 videos, right. but I feel like there's more because we might have done like a mix it up and done a Treatment Tuesday in that video right. or, okay. or put a video out on a brand on a Tuesday, but we did the treatment in that video. So it's like, and we've definitely shown well over 21 mm -hmm. deep conditioners. Um, and we have so many videos on our channel. And we're getting new subscribers every day, and we appreciate nice. that. Hi, new subscribers. Welcome. Hi, old subscribers. Love to meet. Um, but uh, the but the same kind of questions just keep getting asked over and over again. Do you have favorite conditioners? Do you have favorite cleansers? And you know, I'll try to put like the link in the question or in the comment and lead them to this series of videos. But like that was back like in the summer, and so things are updated, and especially because we did this treatment Tuesday. Yeah. So we just kind of wanted to stop by and like revisit our series of deep conditioners mm -hmm. the ones that were near and dear and the ones also that didn't make that video because we didn't want to just keep promoting a certain brand yeah. because um your whole side of the table is basically one brand and you were like why didn't these make the channel or yeah. make the treatment tuesday i'm like probably because like i would have said we're not doing that like you're not going to keep yeah. showing this brand like every single week and so that's probably yeah. why yeah but like your whole so side i of try the to table mix it up like and do things that you guys might have asked us to do try this one or try that one mm -hmm. and just try to make it interesting so i just didn't stick to you guys all know i love sotanicals okay so i didn't want to just stick to sotanicals throughout the treatment tuesday series and we're going to ask you, you know, do you guys still want us to continue? But aside from that, because you can't answer right now, of course. Um, but think about that question. Start, think about the question. You think can like start putting it in the comments now. Yeah. But um, so I experimented with a lot, but yet these are the ones that I would use on my days off. Or mm -hmm. these are the ones that I would have wished to use. And these are the ones that I would have wished to tell you guys about. Because to me, they are fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, um, but we definitely wanted to switch up brands for the Treatment Tuesday. Yeah. And the ones that we got, uh, the ones that we used weren't any lesser, but if I had my choice, these right here on the table are the ones that I would have promoted more, but um, we just didn't want to bore you guys with the same brand. Yeah. So. so we both have deep conditioners here on the table, and these are deep conditioners that we would recommend to you guys if you're looking for a deep mm -hmm. conditioner. Try these ones. So will we have the busted title, Brutally Honest? <laughs> really, like, really honest deep conditioners like like we were honest all all deep conditioner treatments long, right right yeah okay so um, these are the deep conditioners that we're loving mm -hmm. these are the ones these are the ones these are the ones, ones that we see. were and i thought we would only have like a top five but right. then we saw very quickly that i picked one you're like well i didn't try that and you picked it i'm like well i haven't used that so i'm like oh, okay yeah. so, so <laughs> that's kind of like um one of the downfalls of two of us on the channel because um, in the beginning, we were just like all nice, played nicely together, yeah, we and did. we would just we try to agree. But now, like we have um, serious opinions, mm -hmm. and they differ. And they why not? We're two separate people. Yeah, we definitely like two different things. We do. Yeah. So, so basically, we're just gonna sit here wheeling out our favorite deep conditioners. Those of you who are probably like OG Mad Curls fam, or like, yeah, I knew she was gonna say that. I knew she. I'd like you could probably tell us our favorite deep conditioners. Right. But for those of you who want to, us to answer that question, what are our favorite deep conditioners? What should you get? This video is for you. Yep. All right. So okay. if you want to uh, hear that, see that, see these deep conditioners, what we think you should buy, mm -hmm. then please keep watching. Please keep watching. Okay. This is our second video we're filming today. Yes. So you just told me I was hangry. <laughs> hangry right now. I know. Okay. okay. We're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to start. Okay. All right. So in no particular order, these are the ones. Let's see. Did this one make a video? Um, why don't I start with me? Sure. Okay. So pleasantly surprised. This is what I am sticking with. I love it. This is a protein conditioner. So in the meat line, there's two conditioners. One is for moisture, one is for protein. And this is my favorite protein conditioner. Now, granted, I have other ones on the table because sometimes I like to switch it up because, you know, your hair gets used to things. So I do, and I have other protein ones here, but this is the one that is the standout. This is a new find. I love it. I'm glad I found it. I think you brought it into the house. Um, the Miche line mm -hmm. and um, would you was, say it's heavy protein? I don't think it's heavy protein. I think it does the job of what a heavy protein would do. But I felt like my hair didn't do any damage. It didn't excuse me. Didn't have, have any damage. I felt like the results 
that my hair got from this deep conditioner were the results that I would get from a major one that I had to like bake in like that Afro G and all that. But yet I didn't have to do all that work. I just put this in and rinse it out. And I absolutely love the results that the coils come back mm -hmm. and I love it. And my hair doesn't particularly like protein. Mm -hmm. I saw a comment a couple weeks ago. Somebody said like there's no such thing as protein sensitivity. Like I don't know about like all that, all the scientific stuff, but all I know mm -hmm. is that when I use a lot of protein, my hair gets brittle and dry. Okay. And so um, I only use it when I feel like I really like need to. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been using the meat as well when I feel like I need protein, which is not that often. Um, I do think that's a good um, protein treatment for those even who are I, sensitive to protein. You don't really like protein in your hair, even though we all need it. Um, yeah, I don't I've think it's too much. That you can that you only need to do protein like once a month, if that. And I don't know where that kind of finding has come from. I do protein every time I do a deep conditioner, unless like I'm filming for the channel and you know everyone's not um, like me where their hair loves protein. My hair thrives, absolutely thrives on protein, so it does not damage my hair. I am nowhere near in the least bit protein sensitive, so I love protein. Mm -hmm. So I don't know about all of this um, once a month, if that, because. Um, they keep making these protein conditioners, so. Somebody needs them. And so. we keep the buy-in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, girl, you want to take a scoop back so we can Why see not? you with these writings on your shirt, girl. There yes, it is. Girl. Okay. okay. All right. So since we're talking about Meech, I'll snatch up Meech, too. Mm -hmm. Meech totally rocked my world this year when I tried it. I love this. This is a moisturizing deep conditioner. As you said, that's the protein one. This is the moisturizing one. This yeah. is, like, one of my top, like, three, my number one. I love this deep conditioner. Okay. And um, it smells so good. Cause that's does. one thing about Meech. Their products smell so good. It's like, yeah. it's, it's, it's like, yeah. it's like sweet. Even their protein one. Cause sometimes protein conditioners say, like, don't smell sweet. that great. But, um, it smells so good. It's made yeah. with raw honey and babasu oil. And mm -hmm. oh my gosh, my curls are just like so shiny, so bouncy, so mm -hmm. moisturized. It's like the best deep conditioner. It's so mm -hmm. good. Yeah. So I, I like that one. Meech. I used it, but it's not necessarily on my side because it wasn't like that standout one in my mind. Okay. But this one was, um, but I'm not necessarily a fan of moisturizing ones, but I do have some over here for strictly moisturizing um, purposes, but each one didn't quite make my list. Okay, yeah, okay. it's like, um, what is like medium affordability? Like it's not like six bucks, but it's like in like the 14, 15, 16, I think it's something, okay. somewhere in the teens, the high, the mid high teens up there. Okay. But um, love Mish. Yeah, Mish is amazing. Okay. Girl, it's your turn. Yeah, okay, so again, in no particular order, what I found out that I loved was, of course, what I love and what I loved and what I continue to love is Afrotastic. This is a moisturizing conditioner. And let me see, did we find out recently that it had a little bit of light, light protein? Light protein. And protein. I was not aware of that. I think at the World Natural Hair Show, they had like a list, a great pamphlet um, that had all the conditioners, all mm. of their products, everything listed and all the ingredients and what the purpose was. And I loved it because I think I have just about every Sotanical conditioner and it really laid it out and explained it. I wish I had that pamphlet. But anyway, since I don't. Um, I had to do my own research and this right here, Afrotastic, is just fantastic. This is a moisture conditioner and what I found out recently, like I said, light protein. No wonder I like it so much because... And yeah, and I tried it and like I didn't really jump out the window. So, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if it's because like of that light protein, like okay. I didn't find all the things that you found and so... Okay, yeah, no, I love like, this. Okay. So I always have a jar on hand of Afrotastic. I have one over there that's almost empty, but just in case I had to open this one, I felt figured I wanted the heavier one in my hand. But love Afrotastic for moisture, and I guess found that recently, light protein. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to wheel out the old um, Faithfuls. Mm-hmm. The Shea Moisture line. I feel like Shea Moisture, of course, is like OG, the natural hair community, but they particularly nail it, in my opinion, with their deep conditioners. So I love their deep conditioners. These are my three favorite ones. So wow. if you're like a Shea Moisture gal and you want to try some Shea Moisture deep conditioners. Mm -hmm. My number one is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. I've been talking about that for like probably like over a year now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love this one. Totally moisturizing. Amazing slip, especially when you put some heat on it. Heat it just takes these to like the next level and your hair just feels like butter and it's just an amazing situation. And you're not alone in that love for that because this channel has a lot of people that love by that love that and swear by that one. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is just amazing. So okay. the Manuka Honey Mafur Oil one. Girl, hold this okay, girl. why not? Thank you so much. The second one is the Superfruit Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System, and it does, like, 10 different things, which I think is cool. Age defy, color protect, hydrate, nourish, soften, anti-stress, deep condition, revive, uh, body strengthen and shine and um, it smells fruity and again I love the slip and do you really see, see the claims that all that they claimed I mean 
when I use it, my hair is soft, it's moisturized, my curls bounce. I got into it when I got, I did a protective style last year. I got braids and then once I took those braids out, took all like the extra hair out of my hair. I deep conditioned with this and like it just brought my curls like back to life after being like braided down for like two weeks. And okay. um, I loved it ever since then. So I don't really, like I don't, it deep conditions strengthens softens i mean does it protect my color yeah i got some highlights in my hair mm -hmm. i don't know about age defile hydra all that kind of stuff but okay. it's a great deep conditioner i rinse it out i'm just like Ooh, you know my curls look good so okay. love the way it smells love this one yeah i like the smell of that and then the one i just recently tried is the shea moisture the jamaica black castor oil strengthen and restore treatment mask i thought this was amazing um as well i love that it has jamaica black castor oil in it in my opinion this one is the thickest of the three like let me see yeah my hand marks are still oh, wow. are still okay. in it like it's thick okay um but i used it with heat I smell it? yeah it smells like it smells just like the jamaican black castor oil line oh yeah so if you're a fan of that um yeah, it smells which, like that play-doh yeah which mm -hmm. we are a fan of the jamaican black castor oil line so i'm like why haven't i tried this before now but yeah. um i finally tried it and now it's one of my my favorite it smells like the moisture. old formula for the leave-in yes it does yes. and it looks like it too it's brown it this is what the old leave-in used to look like the strength and grow and restore yes. leave-in now it's just the strength and restore leave-in i feel but um oh yeah it's really it's thick. thick you gotta like dig your fingers in there i wonder if it works like the leave-in um mm. what do you mean like, like as far as like a styler kind of yeah i wonder has anybody used it as a styler i know people with um those super thick hair textures use deep conditioners as leave-ins so i don't know y'all comment down below if you have like super thick textured hair do you use deep conditioners as stylers leave-in conditioners yeah. let us know because um it smells just like the it smells old just like formula. it it's, yeah it smells, it does. It smells very good but yeah. yeah so if you're a shea moisture fan go ahead and hold that one up <laughs> these are the three in that order that i would recommend the love and some meat mm -hmm. okay right. very good Okay, let's see. All right, so we just finished with Afrotastic, and I swore by Afrotastic. I'm a loyalist, but it doesn't really matter when you are in the hair community. I mean, loyalty doesn't really work. You know, if products work, they work, and if they work for me, they don't necessarily mean that they'll work for you. But um, while I was perusing Sotanical's site, I saw this. This was kind of like a standout product because I started reading the comments, and people were saying that this was super moisturizing. So I had it on my shelf, and I was so busy using Afrotastic, I never kind of explored this one. So... I explored it and it absolutely is moisturizing. Um, but here I go back on my words again with the loyalty aspect of it. I just love Afrotastic. I love it so much. I have the t-shirt. They have like cute little t-shirts on their site that um, represent each of their um, kind of like favorite. The solidarities that represent each of their like, I guess, best sellers. And so I have them all and I do have the Afrotastic one. They haven't made one for this one yet. But what's that one called? This one is called the Manoy Moisture Slip Deep Conditioning Fertilizing Dip and this is protein and glycerin free so Ooh. this absolutely has um a lot of moisture it gave my hair a lot of moisture why i haven't switched over completely to this one and kind of like forwent foregone i don't know this one i don't know i just love the afrotastic one and this one my hair is phenomenal i love it but i haven't like crossed over completely and then just kind of like put this on the shelf i love this one i always reach for this one well aware of what this one can do but um but it's in the arsenal because i absolutely do love it okay but um do i love it more than afrotastic maybe not because of the probably little itty bitty little bit of protein that does something to my hair that i happen to like so there is a slight difference between these two but um they both are stellar deep conditioners okay okay <laughs> next oh we both kind of agree on this one mm -hmm. Alakay Naturals. Yeah. This was the first deep conditioner that we tried from. Actually, this was the first Alakay Naturals video we did, period, yes. on this channel. And look, we did the thumbnail where we're like painting it on each other's faces, right. being all extra wasting product. <laughs> 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 but this was an amazing deep conditioner. It was like an amazing intro mm -hmm. to Alakay Naturals, and we love it, it the fact that it's green. Yeah, I love the fact. And it's like that really good, like Wizard of Oz witch green. I yes, love it's that. just like straight up green. Yeah. And um, whatever straight up green means. Like, <laughs> and we used it and we used heat and our yes. curls were just like bam like yeah. you saw it on camera like yeah. sometimes yeah. like we did not have to guess i mean you yeah. saw the result shiny boingy Amazing. just healthy looking yeah. i mean it just really was like wow it was like what was that one of our like first deep 
conditioning um like treatment tuesday tuesday because it just seemed like it, it was, was just like wow yeah maybe it was yeah. like our first like really like wow one because some of them yeah. some of our treatment tuesdays really stand out like wow we can see mm -hmm. it like i think this was one i think meech was one i think briogeo was one where it's like you yeah. saw it like immediately on camera once we came back and it was just like wow like yes. you could see it did something this one was immediate yeah once we used it and we put heat with it we rinsed it out we came back on camera and you could see like how amazing it is so yeah. this is really really good yeah, we love this. One. We love that one. Yeah, we love it. To they have two in the line. They have a honey and sage one. That one's yeah. not on the table. Some people Although, love that one. Yeah, we did a video on that mm -hmm. one too. Yep, yep, we have a video on that one, and we love it, but not as much as we love this one. Love so, um, yeah, this one made the table, and the other one is over there um, being a hater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we had to choose. Yep. Right That's here. The, one. Yep. the avocado cream. Mm hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, so boring. Let me see if I can try to switch up brands. Okay, this one. This one I have used for years. I've had it in my collection for 10 years. Not this particular bottle, but this particular product. Okay, this is Repair Me by Curl Junkie. Reconstructive hair treatment. Again, this is a protein treatment. And again, it's um, medium protein. So it's not heavy, but it definitely gets the job done. So I have used this. At, at one point, I was using it kind of like maybe like once or twice a week. I mean, I love this stuff. This is not damaging at all to my hair because, again, my hair loves protein. But this is a fantastic protein treatment. And this is Repair Me by Curl Junkie. It's a little pricey. This is $29. Mm -hmm. um, but I do use a little bit of a light hand. Not too light, though. I mean, this lasts me for girl, quite a while. What's a light hand to you, girl? Um... <laughs> Um, let's see. I don't know because I do section when I use. Oh, what's this. a light hand to any natural? Who were we watching the other day? She was like, um, "Just use. I'm just going to use a dime size amount, and right. it was bigger than a quarter. It was yeah, bigger than a dollar. Really like was. I was like, I'm like dime size. I'm like where? <laughs> and protein treatments don't have to smell like like nasty. Like some of them smell like really like oh, but this smells so tropical. I love the way this smells. I always have. It smells so good. Does it smell good? It does smell. So good. like this is like along the lines of Mish, but maybe even like even sweeter and fruitier. But I like the fact that these are protein treatments, serious protein treatments, but they smell nice. So um, that just goes to show you don't have to smell gross to get the job done. To get the job done. Yeah. So another protein. I have lots of protein over here because I love protein. All right. What else do we have? Let's see. Another um one that I love that I almost forgot that you were like, don't you love this one? I'm like, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Is the Jesse Curl. The Jesse Curl Deep Conditioning Treatment. The scent I got is Island Fantasy because you can like pick your scents. So some people who don't like scents, you can get them scentless without okay. scents. Yep. Um, this is Island Fantasy. This smells like vanilla. And I think they have lavender. Don't quote me. Okay. Um, and I love this. This does not have um protein in it. And I was suffering from protein overload last year and like I was like panicking like everything wasn't working and we that we they had just sent us um some of their products and this was a part of it and I used this and this completely saved my hair from protein overload mm -hmm. so I feel like everyone should just have this on hand yeah. just in case you use too much protein like get <laughs> down with the deep conditioner this is the one right here mm -hmm. and um I actually used it today for my treatment that I did and um again yeah, fell I used it too. yep re fell in love with it Love it so much. Mm -hmm. um, this is a great deep conditioner. Yeah, this is the this foundation will, this is, of this our save your hair. look tonight. We are just coming off of our Jesse Curl, Curl video. One and done. Our one and done. So, so that is the foundation. Yeah. The, the, the shampoo, the conditioner, rinse that out, then put in the deep conditioner. Drove around because I had to go to physical therapy and came back, rinsed it out, and... Yep. That yeah. Was so this one with the... heat or without heat mm -hmm. is still really great. Yes. And this is one that actually says on it, you can use it as a leave-in conditioner for thicker textures. Yes. So this is one of those deep conditioners where you can use it as a styler. Okay. Um, yeah. But no, really love Oh, does this. it say that for the deep conditioner? Yep. It says you can use it as a leave-in conditioner for thicker, drier curls types. Wow. Okay. Because their regular conditioner, the rinse out one, also says you can use that um, all day for all day moisture. Okay. So, yeah. I like when um, conditioners do that. Can do a little. When they give you that option. Yeah. yeah especially mm -hmm. for the price, you kind of can use it a few different ways. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. No. I always worry about this. And I think checking out the Jesse Curl line, period. I think they're, I don't think they're okay. talked about enough. So, love this. Right. And their okay. line. Okay. Also, on the table, I have, all right. So, I hesitate to bring this up, but yet I just was, I kind of like, Bogart my way tonight because I said I have to. You were like a little leery, but I just said I have to mention that for those that were fortunate enough to get Melba's Kitchen Collection, I know there's been like some controversy over that on this particular channel with some of our subscribers, and hopefully that's all being sorted out now. 
Um, so if it is, um, that's wonderful. I would definitely encourage you if they start selling because I know that the Melba's Kitchen Collection was a tribute to her mom, mm -hmm. um, to the owner's mom. And so it was like a wonderful box, lots of like soul food kind of like um, ideas in the box. It was very cute. And so we all kind of like went hard for it, but there has been some upsets about that. And I, you know, I don't know why I'm saying I apologize for it. It wasn't me. But anyway, but I think the fact that we were kind of like, we felt like we were connected to it and went so hard for it for you guys and we're so excited about it. And then there's been some mishaps. So I feel like somewhat kind of sort of, not really, but kind of sort of, <laughs> we kind of like a little responsible, you know. But anyway, aside from all that, I did, of course, get our hands on this and loved this particular deep conditioner and you guys were the ones that were saying that it's going to cross over it's going to cross over because in the video that we made i kept saying i i know that they're going to cross over a few of my favorites um, or, or a few from the collection mm -hmm. my two favorites were the sweet potato co-wash and this melba's um mixed greens i think i like the titles i think i liked the idea of it the smells of it and so i was hoping and then you guys were kind of telling me because after we put that video out and we made that statement that i didn't think like grab it while you can it was like gone forever you were like no she put out um, a snapchat or whatever she put out um instagram story and this is one of the ones that we're going to cross over so this is why i put it in this video because i hate to put things in and have everybody salivating for something that they can't get hopefully you can get it hopefully you can get it right hopefully that you order it and that it and it's shipped in a timely fashion so i do love this this is melba's mixed greens deep conditioning mask and i like the way it smells it smells fresh to me it smells oh my gosh it smells healthy and it is like this light green color and i just kind of like the whole experience and i'm telling you it really worked on my hair so i'm glad to hear that it's crossing over but just in case it wasn't as i stated in the video when we were talking about this um i started looking for other ideas and the other idea i had was sotanicals and this was the Fro Despair Vitamin Hair Repair. No surprises there because I love botanicals. And it's almost kind of like a green smoothie, these things, okay? It's like healthy ways to treat your hair. Like everybody's like on this green smoothie kick. I haven't gotten on that yet. I just people, I know people drinking celery juice and this juice and yeah, that juice. Yeah, and putting spinach and everything in. And then you like throw in like... Um, pineapple to me just ruins the whole let us know like what's the point of all that why yeah. should if you're doing that why should we jump on the wave like what's, what are the benefits of that and then it turns everything green i don't think it tastes green and leafy but i think that i'm so used to like bananas and pineapple and it's so sweet and, and like it's pink and cute and, and then all of a sudden somebody throws some green i mean green just ruins it all it i know like, we were at a place green. the other day when we were getting smoothies and i read it was like strawberry banana and spinach i'm like just take the spinach out. Yeah. Like, why is spinach, spinach in there? Spinach doesn't have a taste because we have so much raw spinach downstairs. True. We just buy cartons and cartons of it. We just throw spinach on top of everything. But I'm talking about, like, lunch and dinner. I'm not trying to have it in my smoothie. So I haven't gotten on that wave yet. Yeah. But I have gotten on it for my hair. And these two are, like, the green smoothies for my hair. And they really are healthy hair choices. So this Fro Despair one is, to me, almost identical. Like, neck and neck. Oh my gosh, it's so uh, green. Yeah, and it smells a little bit different. Again, green. That looks chunkier. Okay. Um, it looks a little bit, um, yeah, it looks a little bit chunkier. Yeah. But again, they're natural products, so who knows who's to say that this is chunkier now and maybe this will be chunkier the next batch. I don't know. They seem to change Sometimes consistency. Sometimes consistencies can change, yeah. Yeah. So to me, they were kind of like equally green. They smell healthy. This one has a little bit more of a pungent smell, but not offensive at all. And so I was like searching for something because I was afraid that this was not going to cross over. And it has, um, and I'm glad about that. But this is also another option and they were equally as good and I love them both for my hair. Okay. Right. right. So moving on. I thought I would throw this one in because I love its meat. Mm -hmm. The Nature's Little Secret Milk Strengthening and Deep Conditioner. It's made with coconut and goat milk. I love this. Yes. And um, I used it a lot back when we first got it when we were doing like our Nature's Little Secret videos. And then I re-fell in love with it again when we used it for um, doing Adam's video. And we did right. we did his hair and we did a whole Nature's Little Secret watch. And go. I'm like, I forgot about this. Let me yeah. wheel this back out. Yeah. But I love this. Um. Oh, the way it smells, it smells like a baby. Does. It smells like a baby. <laughs> it, does. it smells like baby powder, like baby, like Johnson's baby lotion. Yeah. It smells so pleasant. I, it does. It's just, it's just a pleasant it's deep coconut conditioner. With, and sometimes coconut overtakes um, the fragrance of something, but it doesn't. It just smells very, very mild of like baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so it says this one, it says these milks are full of protein that help um, repair dry and damaged hair. So mm -hmm. this one does have some proteins in it. Okay. Um, but I really like this because again, it's not like heavy protein, but I feel like my hair is shiny and my curls are nice when I use yeah. this deep conditioner. I yeah. really like this one from their line. Yeah. It's amazing. I agree. It wasn't on my side because we had to kind of like balance out 
that so we both can I know you have like a hundred over thing. here right I know so um, I'm like you put that but I definitely you know I'm the protein girl so I definitely love nature's little secret um yeah this is a great it's just, yep, it's just it's great just to have thing. you know if you ever just feel like yeah. just shopping like just to have something like yeah this is something you should just we have we just like get it just to have because we definitely use it yeah and, um, no I mean just to have and like use it right, like you know yes, yeah well, yeah like buying buy the nature's little secret the right milk strengthening deep conditioner yeah it just yeah it's just definitely something that you can just kind of like grab it's easy to do like it's any heat, like how do you do this one? Any heat? You know I cannot yeah. Girl. need that. That's like micro, mini microscopic. Yeah, sit under a hood to dry for 20, 25 minutes. Okay. Love it to me. I think we're so used to doing that now because of um. I filming. do it with anything, whether yeah. they say it or not. Heat, mm -hmm. heat takes it to the next level, and I will insert my DIY hooded dryer hack. If you don't have like a dryer, <laughs> yeah, use your little leggings, little blow we'll dryer, a little tie it up. Like that's been my favorite. Even though we have a dryer, I do the leggings hack I know every you do. single because I feel like it penetrates mm -hmm. more. And I was gonna do it for your Mother's Day video, but I want to make you look a clown, girl, <laughs> on your day. But, okay, girl, thank girl. you. I wonder if that's why people are mad, girl. Because did you, did I think you, we all was gonna make you look like a clown? I don't like, know. Like with that video, side rails because we always go side rails. Of course. The mother, when I do your hair, mm -hmm. we know how to do each other's hair, so they're mm -hmm. like there wasn't gonna be anything funny, yeah. like or whatever. But I, I don't know. We got like quite a few thumbs down. I'm like, I wonder if they thought it was gonna I be know. some type of joking thing. It was gonna be yeah. funny. Like we know how to do hair. Right. It's not like you're. Like, I'm like, or even if you do my hair, it's not like you're my mom who doesn't know how to do curly hair. Right. Like, my hair will be looking bomb too because you know how to style curly the hair. The uniqueness of Mad Curls putting out a Mother's Day video this year was the fact that I never allowed her to do my hair. And I think I explained that in the introduction. So, if, there, if you thought it was going to be like a clown moment or something, guys. First of all, it's Mother's Day. Why would I make yeah. you look busted on well, Mother's right, Day? Right. And plus, you, you know, guys, like, I wasn't having none of that. Yeah. And we are a natural hair channel. We do tutorials we know how to do hair so it wasn't like i'm never on the channel you guys don't know me and you bring your mother on like oh i wonder what taylor Ann's mother looks like and then i come on and then you know either i do your hair or you do mine and it's like like we do we do it together so yeah. the only thing that we could like kind of switch up was me answering questions things that you guys might want to know about us mm -hmm. and the fact that um i gave up the control and allowed you to do that but um yeah i was like what are people so angry about i'm I like, like i'm like i wonder if and not angry in the comments mm -mm. angry by the amount of thumbs down we got shocked. i was like i think they thought this was going to be like a funny video mm -hmm. and i'm like I, I was shocked because Sorry. the comments were absolutely pleasant because you were just like, get on those comments. Everybody came in and wished you happy Mother's Day and you didn't say anything. And I'm like, well, it was Mother's Day. I was like, rest in my nerves on Mother's Day. But bright and early, well, it would be this morning because it's Monday night. But bright and early this morning, I was on those comments and I did not see anything that reflected those eight thumbs down. Yeah. But I didn't want to give that bustedness credence because not bothered. As Adam would say, they still viewed because they had to view it to give the thumbs down so not bother Still but um i don't know but yeah about. i don't know mm -mm. i was talking about saying i want to say what i don't you know say all that to say i have no idea but anyway we're talking about nature's little secret yeah milk strengthening um mm -hmm. deep conditioner amazing check out nature's little secret website it's okay. awesome black owned love them so much all right so then the next thing is right so i love this it never um has been on the channel yet i've talked about it time and time again why i haven't put it on the channel i don't know because i could just picture my sickening outfit like orange and um and like red i just love the color of it you know i just i just get taken in by things like that and it's just i just recaptured it from my refrigerator because i want to maintain its integrity it smells so good and so this is the hibiscus this is sotanicals of course hibiscus hair healer healthy scalp therapy mask and i'm no stranger to saying that i love sotanicals i say it over and over i say that i i don't think they have quite nailed their stylers yet but they absolutely in the whole community Girl, is that thick um, You've got the thing half on and like you're just wheeling it around. I don't know what the lid is on. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. So I just, without a doubt, I feel like they have just um, captured the whole conditioner, deep conditioner, leave it, whatever. Mm -hmm. I think that they have cornered the market on their conditioners. I've never seen a brand that doesn't better. I just simply have not. Oh, okay. Girl. Okay. So girl. that there's my statement. You said I said what you it, said. I said what I said. Okay. You said what you said. I said what I said. <laughs> and, it, and I mean it. So um, that's why there's so many on this side. And this is why they didn't make the treatment Tuesdays because like, gosh. It's like, like guys, she's back with Sultanicals yeah, again. Yeah. Like, so we had to kind of like balance it out because yeah. everybody may not necessarily be a Sultanicals fan. So we have to kind of like cater to the audience. So we did the best that we can but behind the scenes these are the things that i reach for now the ones that are in the deep treatment um videos might have been requested by some of you guys or just things that might have been new or um things that you might have suggested or whatever we did to yeah, balance we, we try to bring a variety yeah and yeah. deep conditions in general 
are going to do the job. Some do it better than others, and I sure. feel that Sotanicals does it better than others. But again, like I said, I'm not going to keep parading the same old boring brand over that because you guys are like, come on, give it a break already. Yeah. But this is definitely one of the ones that I use. It, it's in my refrigerator now, um, and I have, think I have like two more jars over there somewhere. And so I love this. I love the color. I love the way it um, reacts yeah. to my hair. I just love Sotanicals. So that That's is it. my... Um, Deep conditioner. This is another one that I love. Okay. Yep. All right. Another one that I had the opportunity to try finally that I fell in love with was the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. Absolutely love this when I tried it. At first, I was really reluctant to try because I didn't want to pay that $17. And I don't know why. Mm -hmm. We've talked about this before on the channel why we will throw coin certain places, but we'd be like, I'm not paying that for that for right. other places. So I might pay $17.99 for another deep conditioner, but I was like, I'm not paying $17.99 for TGIN. Like, I guess I knew nothing about TGIN. I was like, I don't know them. I'm not paying $17.99 for them. <laughs> I wasn't doing it. But you guys um, raved about it so much that I finally found it online, like during a sale, uh, I believe like Sally's, they were having a sale. I paid like 12 for it. I'm like, okay, I'll pay 12 for it. Okay. I'll, I'll do that. And so I bought it absolutely worth the coin i can see why it's 17.99 it's amazing mm -hmm. it smells amazing um it works amazing this was one of those when my hair was just like bam like this is amazing okay um absolutely love it i can totally see the hype around this mm -hmm. um smells, smells pleasant, so right? good there's smells amazing so slip it's kind of like yellowy yeah. i don't know why we always have to smell we have to things. smell things with fun. Those sense. oh my god it's like it just smells so it's good it's so good i yeah. love this it's love like, this like Pudding almost yeah so good. and yeah. they rolled out now um a whole line after it almost like shea moisture yeah the shea moisture manuka honey and mafura they had a shampoo conditioner deep conditioner everybody loved it this was like one of their main products people were buying then they rolled out a whole bunch of stylers and in my opinion those completely flopped okay um they flopped <laughs> and i like the gel remember in the video i was you did. all excited you was like ma stop but um that yeah. video i loved that the gel, gel. was busted yeah. my opinion the custard was busted okay the the milk was the only thing that was kind of good i did a one and done on it i never did it again um okay. after the video but no the but this was like something i always buy again and again mm -hmm. so for this they rolled out a mousse a milk a refresher spray the refresher spray i've been using like crazy we're still gonna okay. do a video on the rest of these products um but it's kind of looking like a shea moisture situation where they tried to what is it elongate okay like the line like, like or what is it the expand line. the line there okay. it is sorry it's late okay expand the line and um i don't know about them stylers so we're we, we gonna figure out about them stylers okay but this is still number one this still reigns supreme this is like the best honey miracle piece of that collection okay. the mask is amazing if you had to choose right on the spot ma'am girl if you had to choose ma'am what do you like better tgin or do you like the shea moisture shea moisture okay i'm a loyalist You're all sure. she wanted was loyalty <laughs> This most. hasn't put in their time. Even though they say okay. it's not who's been around longest, it's who's done the most. Okay. But like, okay. I would pick Shea Moisture. Okay. Even though this is so good. I'm just asking for a friend, guys, because okay. I know you guys wanted to know. Okay. okay. Did we answer that in a this or that? Maybe we did. Maybe we did. I hope mm -hmm. I said the same thing. I hope I was consistent, girl. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Like okay. we said, um, it just... <laughs> our thoughts change from time to time that's why we have to keep wheeling out these things because things change yeah weather changes haircuts change the porosity changes i think um i think every time i get my hair cut do you guys notice that when you get your hair cut the texture changes right like yes. my texture to me is um thicker um more dense i mean my hair is already dense i always say my hair grows up this way and not down but it just seems like every time i get it cut it just kind of changes and it gets thicker and shall I say, even maybe a little bit harder to manage and I have to just kind of find ways of dealing with it and products to deal with it. Um, so that's just the way it is. So when we were like doing this, I'm like, well, did we have, like we're trying to be consistent. So if you ever catch us not being consistent, bring it to our attention yeah, and we'll probably I, explain explain why. Yeah. We'll be like, yo, that was then. Yeah, that was like uh, two days ago. Okay, this is <laughs> now, okay. <laughs> right up to date. Right, hopefully you. we're not that fickle. Mm -hmm. I don't think we are. Yeah, but no. um, who knows? We're going to find out this I year. I don't think we are because... During the disappointing products video. The, right? <laughs> my side of the table is very Don't representative of the same old things I talk about over and over and over yeah. and over and over again. You know, I think I'm very consistent about the things that I like. So there's no surprises here. Other right. than you guys probably are bored sick. Like, all right, this has got to stop this wheeling out this yeah, stuff. Yeah, we're, okay? we're sick of it. Okay. But, Do um, something exciting. We're but trying. yet and still, we still wheel. And yet and still, y'all still watch you're it. You're still here. <laughs> Love you so much. Love you so much.
<laughs> okay. Mad curls are the real ones, girl. Hashtag mad curls. I mean, the brands know it too. They right. sure do. <laughs> they sure do. Um, okay. And last but not least for me, are you on your last but not I least? I have one more. Okay. Yeah. All right. And so last but not least, again, no surprises there. So tentacles. Got onto this. <laughs> this came out back um, for Black Friday. Couldn't get my hands on it. Well, actually, I probably could, but I probably didn't reach for it because I don't know about this whole rice water, rice rice tonic thing i don't know i didn't really understand yeah, the it. rice water challenge yeah but um one day when i was just kind of like pulse shopping just like look and spend my money look and give my money away um i was on the site and basically i have everything but i didn't have this so we got this i think at christmas time um io the owner of sotanicals dropped this in our little christmas bag um and so i loved this then I was like reading and kind of like researching when I read this I think they said to use um hentonite clay mask and I didn't have that at the time but I did have this so I paired these two together and fabulous results absolutely fabulous results my hair got thick maybe that's why my hair's thick and thin I don't know my hair got thicker healthier oh my gosh like I love this combination does it grow hair? The, um I think it it stops the hair from shedding. It, hence, it probably will retention. Like, retention, yeah. Okay. So retention um, means like it'll make your hair grow because it'll stop the shedding. And when your hair grows, it retains that. So retains the knows? Right. right, exactly. Okay. But absolutely love this. Have this and have another one on standby. I hope they constantly keep um, keeping this on their website. Which retention is just as important as growth. You absolutely. can grow the hair all day long, but if you're not keeping it healthy, then it's I mean yeah, it's, it's kind of like counterproductive. Yeah. So. So um, since then, I have gotten the Hentonite Clay Mask because the directions on here say to, after washing your hair with our mainstay Hentonite Clay treatment, um, pour a sprout directly onto your hair. I think they say pour because the original packaging had a spout that you would pour, but since then, they heard the customers, and the customers said, like, this pouring thing, we're going through this, like, um, you wouldn't believe, so they put the little spray nozzle on it, and I appreciate that, and so that's why I went out and got it again, because I wanted the little spray nozzle. I was getting ready to switch out my refresher spray, because that looks just like the refresher spray, except this one is green, and that one's kind of, like, purpley pink, but anyway, aside from all of that, Got this. Love this combination together. So if you don't have the hint tonight clay mask, this works fantastic. I do have it, but it seems like it's going to be like a process, and so I haven't done that yet. But I do have the um, the clay mask, and that way I can follow directions to a T. But right now, these two, pleasantly surprised this year. Glad I got these. And this, I believe, is in one of our Treatment Tuesdays. It is. I just had to share this experience, yep. so I love this. So I think, I think it's in that. the one with the treatment. I'm about to share my last treatment. Okay. Which is the Briogeo. Mm -hmm. The Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This is very expensive. Um, seen it in Sephora. Was never really checking for Briogeo at all until they checked for us. They said, can we send you some products? And they actually wanted to send us their Curl Charisma line. And I was like, sure. Love it's Mitch. Um, can you also <laughs> send the Don't Despair Repair? Because mm -hmm. um, you guys had mentioned it so much. Mm -hmm. And they were like, yeah, yeah, we'll send that too. And so I um, completely fell in love with it. And it was at a point where my hair, I don't know, it was like shedding and it was just dull and doing weird stuff. And I remember reading uh, what stuck out to me was like it says after three uses like your hair is going to look different like it's going to be okay. like shinier and strengthened and all this kind of stuff and so when my hair was going through and i was looking kind of to see what i could do i was like i remember the claims of this is after three uses so i started pre-pooing with it yeah. deep conditioning with it and it completely transformed my hair you almost to the point that. where you were like are you doing something different or your hair looks really right. good? And I'm like, I'm using Briogeo and this kind mm -hmm. of is flying up to the ceiling right now because I think you started using <laughs> it a little bit. And, I did, um, but I like laid I off of it this. because like my need wasn't as, as deep as yours. So I know that you really look kind of like we're grasping for things because of, um, you know, like when you just go through this journey and every now and then your hair just gets to a point where it just starts acting weird. It just it sheds a lot, doing stuff. you know, no matter what you do. And so you just kind of like really want to like, like recognize your hair again. So yeah. you have the haircut, you have like the shedding, you have the the full slab that sometimes comes back to bite you yeah. and there's just a lot all going that. on there with all those um all that yarn yeah so um, and so it just goes through and it was going through i'm like mm -hmm. this is busted like what can i do and i remember these claims and i started using it and seriously like after like three times using it like my hair was looking different i mm -hmm. still use it i love this i think i said in a video it was like rivaling between this for my number one um this one's definitely more affordable this is i think like 40 dollars yeah for this um, eight ounce thing but it does everything it says and if you're not sharing it it's probably worth it because yeah. i know this is not as much as that but this is 29 and i have had this for um well over like a year now and so 
if it's just one person using it and because like we're filming videos and stuff i don't always reach for it mm. and there's so many other protein conditioners that i like but this is an old faithful and so the bottle is what um 12 fluid ounces i mean it's not huge but if you're only just one person using it but if i had to share it with like say like you like yeah. i would go through it quicker so the brioche really is kind of like which is awesome when brands send us two yeah they definitely sent us two of these and yes. i took both love you so much of course <laughs> But it says yeah. on here that, um, I just saw, it says damaged hair will look um, and feel mm -hmm. visibly healthier and stronger. Yeah. And that's absolutely true. To absolutely the point true. where somebody comments on it and that somebody was me. Yeah, and, you were like, what yeah, are you doing? And I'm like a hard critic, so um, for me to notice it and actually vocalize that, um, you ob it obviously... Yeah. did something that stood out. So if you feel like mm -hmm. throwing that coin, it is mm -hmm. absolutely worth it. Well, they it. were already throwing it because they were telling us to throw okay, it. Okay, but we everybody, like, I would say, when I say everybody was telling us, when we say everybody, we mean about like one person. <laughs> like, no, like, I mean, um, kid sister, she was like, get the Don't Despair Repair. And I, okay. I was just like, no, I'm not paying $40 for that. And then we're like, I'm going to send okay. it to you. I think Xavier okay. was like, what's he saying? saying it to I you? think he was saying it. it was like, okay. That's why I said a few people were saying it. So I know that that name stands out and Kid Sister's name stands out. And I think there were a few others. That were but, saying um, We were like the Wee Dad and Diva Girls. And so we were like, we can't like get all these high-end brands. Okay? Yeah. This is going to make us go broke. And so since we didn't have like that connect with Briogeo, like we weren't trying to reach out for them. Um, those high-end brands. They're tricky. Um, they're, yeah. They're, you know, unless you have like a connect and they want us to... But for like a brand like this, channel. I'm glad I have mm -hmm. one product that I just really like. Like this yeah. is something like I would throw my coin to. Like do I want the whole line with the shampoo? Like no, I don't want all that. But okay. I really like this. This is amazing. This will transform your hair if it got some issues going on. Okay. Really like you guys should check this out. Okay, so I'm noticing, though you're probably going to end it, like we have oils on the table. And so we just want to like speak on the oils a little bit because though we have had our own kind of proteins and moisturizers and you've had like one or two proteins and moisturizing conditioners we did finally kind of like delve into oils this treatment season and um well, hot, oil treatments, hot oil treatments saved our yeah. hair this winter mm -hmm. because our hair was dry when like moisturizing conditioners just don't quite do it um this takes it up a notch we felt and so you know you heat it up and you put it in so the one that I Even loved. in our video, we didn't heat it up. We didn't. Like, did we forget? Like, I don't know. I think we did. And we were yeah, like, wait, we're we didn't YouTube heat it up. <laughs> we're a busted YouTube channel. Okay. okay. So LK Naturals Blended Therapy Hot Oil. They Amazing. have so many oils. And so it's kind of hard to navigate and figure it out. But this one actually stood out because when you turn it over, it will tell you like it's for hot oil treatment. And so I was like, okay, bingo, this must be the one. Now, can any oil be used for hot oil treatment? I don't know. You guys tell us. Can any oil be used? I think it depends. Yeah. This has like a lot of mixture. And I like the fact that it's for kinky, curly, wavy, and straight hair. If the oil so, says it can be used for a hot oil treatment, I will use it as a hot oil treatment. Yeah. Yeah. And if it doesn't, I wonder, can it be used? I mean, I don't know. I mean, some oils, like they only seem like finishers. Like I wouldn't take a finishing oil right. and hot oil treatment it. Yeah. Like it doesn't have the same kind of feel as a okay. hot oil treatment but you like okay. the allocate blended therapy that's an amazing one yes love that one i'm always interchanging between that one and the mish polished love the way okay. this smells this is one of my favorite oils okay. love hot oil treatment ting, ting, with, with this with Can this it, is it also a finishing one as well yes it is here's so okay it's excellent for a pre-shampoo, hot oil treatment, overnight deep conditioning, blowouts, twist outs, roller sets, and protective styling. So it can be used for everything. But the fact that it says hot oil treatment, I yeah. will snatch it up. And that's that's all I use it for is a hot oil treatment. Okay. Or a um a pre poo. I will detangle my hair with this. And it's funny because I will snatch up an oil in a heartbeat. It smells so good. And put it on my hair, but I've never used that. I've never put that one on my hair. And that's what I so. look for. I look for an oil that smells good. I don't want an oil that smells like an oil. I want it to smell good. Does that smell good? Uh, oh yeah. Well, you know what? Let me not tell a lot. Let me see. I don't know yet. It smells like nothing actually. It's just very bland, right? Yeah, it's bland. It, it, it has no smell. It smells almost like, like cardboard. Like yeah, it, it smells has, like cardboard. Why yeah, is it that? It smells like paper, cardboard. Which is weird because um, Alga Naturals products typically smell fruity. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It scent with all of the... I don't this think smells so. amazing. This has cedar oil, cedar wood oil, black seed oil. This is the featured ingredients and eucalyptus, eucalyptus. oil. And you don't smell the eucalyptus in here, so... Um, this is sweet almond oil, uh, apricot kernel oil, jojoba oil, extra virgin olive oil. Isn't this one? Can I smell that one? Yeah. Oh yeah, that smells like again fruity. Yeah, yeah I'm surprised with the almond. It's kind of like something over it's that's overtaking day. that almond. And the other but one, I, I feel like I just have to mention because I've been using it too, like crazy, and yeah. it barely 
shows it, which is I good because it's $17.99, um, is the melanin oil. Absolutely love this. I pre-shampoo with this. You do. I love this. Detangle my hair with this. Mm -hmm. I love this. I love the applicator yeah. so much. Yeah. Love you the packaging. Have been, every time I go into the bathroom and I see and I'm getting ready to take a bath or a shower or something, there you are, parting your hair, sectioning it, and just putting that oil in your hair. And look at it. has not moved. It has been moved. doing this for months Why now, I would say. Yeah. yeah. This is fantastic. I just it's love worth the packaging. the $17.99 and mm -hmm. the $10 shipping because um it does not move. Nope. No matter how much you use it, it's not moving. It's barely moving. So absolutely love that as well. Yep. So hot oil treatments are the wave. Um, You can also add them to your deep conditioners and right. put them in with your deep conditioners. And yeah. yeah, you can do that as well. Okay. But yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know if any of these are your favorites. Mm -hmm. What are some of your favorite deep conditioners down below that we should explore? Mm -hmm. Also, let us know if you want us to keep doing Treatment Tuesdays. We kind of feel like, oh, it's Tuesday. It's time for Treatment Tuesday. Like, it's kind of mm -hmm. like so boring. Can they do anything else on the channel? Like every right. Tuesday we know it's a Treatment Tuesday. Like so boring. But mm -hmm. unless it's not so boring to you guys, let us know. For us, it's yeah. just like. Because we're definitely not going to stop. We're going to continue on. Though we started Behind in the scenes, yeah. Yeah. But so um, we're not going to stop doing it. Them. And I don't know if it's a time like you guys like to do it. You're like, okay, here's Matt Curls. They put out a treatment Tuesday. Let's like, you know, grab our products and like sit and watch and do it with them. So we don't know if that's the incentive, but um, we enjoy doing it throughout the year. But we feel like we don't film all that much and that that's like taking up one slot. Yeah, it's like week. taking up a space. Like, yeah. okay, one of our videos is going to be like a treatment Tuesday when we could be doing yeah. something else. So yeah. let us so. know if that's something you guys really still want to see or if you want to see other content. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and yes. we shall see you in our next video. See you in our next video. All right. Bye. Bye.